Joining us right now to talk about these new guidelines is Dr. Neil Alpiner from Beaumont Hospital. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. First of all, just your overall impression of these guidelines, good, bad, indifferent? Great. What they do is they put more emphasis on education, more emphasis on the individual child, and the understanding that we still don't know what's going on with the brain. So it's much better to be cautious um, than just throw them right back. Now, Dr. Alpiner, a lot of parents are hearing that 10-day mark that those doctors just mentioned, but you're saying each kid has to be analyzed on an individual basis, but is that 10-day mark an important number of days to look at, especially when you're a parent and you're worried about your kid? Sure, good question. They're saying that 10 days are your greatest time for risk if you go right back in. The question is, if you've had the concussion, then you take off the time frame and you say, and the, and the recommendation say the same thing you go back when you're symptom free off medication and symptom free now that's for contact and competition the individuality of now you can go back and do some basic sport and not increase your risk as these kids want to go back and do something is different but the 10 days is that's a fragile time the study also shows these are high school and young college uh, 40 percent of kids who have a concussion or early on are 8 to 13 mm. so the parents of the younger kids Kids can't say, oh, well, they're not at risk. Actually, they may be at a higher risk. We just don't have enough data on it. Because their brains aren't fully developed, right? Correct. Now, you're talking about, uh, a minute ago, I was kind of interested, some of the, the things you risk uh, or, or you evaluate the risk of concussion to kids, are, among other things, are genetic predispositions. Yeah, there's really only a couple of variables that we look at for head injury in long term. One of them is, which clearly defines, if you've had a head injury, your risk for a second one in long term problems exists. Right. The other one is a genetic marker, the same marker we use for patients with Alzheimer's disease to see if you have it it still shows and we're not at that stage where you'll do genetic testing but we will be there mm -hmm. well you'll go in for your physical and they'll actually draw blood and say you know you're at a higher risk for concussion wow. like they do with breast cancer I don't think we're that far away Okay, uh, lastly, I know we're out of time, but a lot of parents are thinking their kids shouldn't even play football because of all of the news with the NFL players and this long-term damage. You say yes or no, or you should just evaluate it kid uh, by kid? I think it's okay to play football. It's okay to be wise when they're playing it. So if the kid wants to play, I mean, I've had this question. Yes, they can play, but if they get injured, put them in the right spot, put them with the right, right equipment, and make sure you watch them. All right, Dr. Alpiner, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Welcome. Thank you.